Blender 5 has been released with new features and updates. Let's see some of the new tools. First of all, Instance on Elements modifier. We can instance on points, faces, edges and corners. We can select an object or a collection to instance and we can also drag and drop from the outliner and we can adjust the scale if we need to convert to mesh all we need to do is activate realize instances then apply the modifier the next modifier is randomize transforms to randomize the location rotation and the scale of the instances now let's see the scatter on surface modifier. Now it's easier to scatter vegetation. We can choose the density method, density or amount, and we can select an object or a collection. I'm gonna select a flower collection. And again, if you want to convert to mesh, you need to activate realize instances, then apply the modifier. It's important to enable peak instance, otherwise the instances will remain outside the surface. We can change the scale and also randomize the instances. In the new array modifier, there are gizmos to control it, but we can change the shape, for example, to circle for a circle array, and it works out of the box. Just select the count, the axis, and we can also randomize it. We can also change the shape to curve. All we need to do is select the curve, rotate the object if you need, then adjust the scale, increase the count, and we can move the vertices. Now let me duplicate these edges, then separate, and now I can convert to curve and add the curve to tube modifier so we can easily create pipes and cables. Finally, the lattice has been updated. To use it, I'm gonna select an object, then Shift A, lattice, the form selected. Now in data, we can change the resolution depending on our needs. Now in edit mode, just move the points so we can deform the object. And that's it for now. All the assets that I'm using here are on my Gumroad. Thank you for watching and thank you to my patrons. See you next time.